We just made it here to the Ford dealer because I wanted to check out this Cummins right here. Look at that. So look at this, man. It's a 2015. I'm pretty sure that I saw on the listing. And the one thing, the big difference is that I noticed is that these air vents are here, man. I don't have that. As you can see, it has the block heater, tow hooks and all. I painted these black. It looks like it would be a lot harder on this truck. Got these tow hooks that I want. I still don't have those on the truck. I still need to get those. Definitely a different design, a little bit on the grill. Bigger tires for sure. I'm sure that's a 33. Man, that is not aggressive at all. I love the wheel design. When they make these in black, it looks really good. Look at that. Huge badges, man. Crazy. But anyways, on the inside here, same interior as mine. I don't see anything that's really that different besides a black steering wheel. And the seats have a little bit different design. I love the moonroof, though. Always wanted that. I've always wanted a moonroof. So this has a warranty. It's a 2015. It says it's a V6 automatic. That doesn't make sense. So we get back here. Looks like it's just a mat. I don't know if it's... There's a mat on top of the regular bed liner. So there we go. DEF. Add blue. And then diesel one. That is a weird... I don't know what this is. That is a weird cap. But anyways, yeah, look at that frame, man. It's actually looking really good. We got some corrosion up here, though. Damn. So this is one they must have changed the coating, but back here, some corrosion. Not good. Stock exhaust. I'm sure that it's not tuned or anything or deleted. But it is a very nice shiny truck, man. Gotta love that touchscreen. I wish I had those. Wish I had one of those. Real nice. Nice Cummins badge. I like this badge better. It's a lot cooler. Not a faded base, regular faded antenna. Look at that, man. Cab lights. Gosh. Ram is the only is the only brand that still offers the solid axle. There we go. It looks like yeah, track bar. Here's the underneath of the truck. Not too bad, but as you can see, we got corrosion. And starting on the frame all the way down. Oh man, that's just so sad, man. It's a 2015 too. Sucks. It is a nice truck though, I love it. So you're here we got a nice F-150, Lariat. I don't know if it's the EcoBoost or not. And then we got a lot of Fords over here. Ford Mustang, man. Looking nice, dude. Look at that. Oh, road saw all over it, but loving the black wheels. Oh, they want 35000 for it. This is a 5.0 V8. Wait a minute, did I see that right? Six-speed manual, man. Yeah, 5.0 V8 six-speed manual. Should I buy this car, man? Say screw trucks and go to cars? I don't know about that one. Gosh, man, how aggressive that, look how aggressive that is. Oh, how about over here? Look at that. Gosh, man, these cars are real nice. There you go, if you wanted to ever see a side-by-side -side comparison between a 1500 and a 2500, huge difference. Look at that stance, bro! Oh my gosh, brand new Ford! made it the last stop here we go man look at this thing holy cow this thing is sick but I'm already noticing some issues with it but anyways we got some XD wheels as you can see it needs new caps brakes rusting out pretty bad frame rusting out pretty bad we got a dual what do we got a dual I'm thinking that's probably a super 10 series Flowmaster muffler and look at the door pipes out the back dual chrome tips what kind of shocks I'm not really sure they're just white but look at the rust under this thing gosh I would have a field day for years this thing is rusting out pretty bad anyways what kind of tires are these federal yep federal 35 12 5 radius 20 they never last that long but yeah they're gonna need new tires 
flares are not painted to match, but they are black, so I guess they match well. These should be black. I don't know. These rails, I'm not really a fan of that. It's kind of that diamond plate, that diamond toolbox plate rails. Not painted. Corroding bolt on the other side. But anyways, all right, so let's look inside here on the tinted windows. Can't really see much. Leather seats. Same interior as my, I don't know if you guys can see anything at all. It's really dark. I can barely even look. But damn, this is nice. I was noticing some Silverados have the GM badge here. I obviously did not, but it's weird that some of them have them, some of them don't. There may be some packages, years, whatever. I'm not really sure, but I took that off anyway. But anyways, under here, oh, look at that. You got the, the steps that lower down. That's awesome, man. This is about a $1,000 mod. This is how it would work if it was on my Chevy. So as you can see, the clearance is actually really nice. Look at that, I didn't even know they were down there. So if I were to ever buy steps for my truck, these are what I would buy. But as you can see, it does make the truck have a little bit less clearance, which is probably about a few inches. Let me go over here, we got, looks like standard control arms, the angle's really off. This control arm is completely brown. Oh my gosh. Incredible, man. Yeah, I don't even think with these flares, it's it would have no stance anyway, so I don't see why they even have them. Chrome in the front. I don't know how this was painted, but as you can see, it's chipping pretty bad. Got paint chips all over it. So it looks like it's kind of corrosive here in the front. There's the suspension angles, kind of scary. Look at the look at the up control arm angle. Gee whiz. I'm wondering, this may be. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. It's a replacement strut lift, so I can't tell how big the spacer is. So that's a good thing that they did that, but the angle is still pretty atrocious. No tow mirrors, but they do have this extra angle there. Nice bar going across, and let's see the frame. Oh my. Oh my gosh. The frame is not looking too good, but it's still a very nice truck. I love it. That's really cool. Maybe you can see better on this side of the passenger. So yeah, just standard interior there. Let's see, it goes up to 120. And yeah, same as mine, back seats. You got a wider back seat. It's pretty cool. So yeah, man, some guy went by and he said, you know, this truck is dope. And he said it's actually the coolest one he's ever seen. That's what he said. So it's pretty crazy, man, because I want, I want to be able to top this truck. I mean, I do like this truck a lot. But I'm sure I'll be able to top it on my Chevy. I just want to keep going up with the upgrades. I wonder what years it's running. I'm hoping it's 373. I don't even know what year this truck is. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've seen chrome ends. Oh, so it is an LT, same package as mine, but it does have the leather, so that's different. Just regular dropping. Just regular dropping bed liner, regular tailgate, no shocks. Give you guys one more look back here so the axle doesn't look too bad but the actual bed itself and some of the subframe it's not looking too good but i'm sure this thing sounds amazing being a super 10 series flow master muffler and then a dual exhaust setup sick if i were to buy this truck i'd have to put the covers in i'd go to a professional place to get the whole frame taken care of i would have to replace the caps the xd wheel caps because they're fading and I'd probably replace these with black ones or a plastic one, not really sure. Put tow mirrors on it, smaller antenna. Custom headlights, I'd probably match all the chrome. I'd have to replace the badging. Yep, there's a lot of things that I'd do with this truck and I do love it a lot. I'm not really sure where it came from. I've never seen a cool truck like this at this dealer. I always drive by, I live not too far from here. Never seen a truck like this before here. That's why I had to check it out. So there we go. Comparison of the two trucks. Kind of. All right, here's a good update, guys. Just bought $50 worth of razors. And then I also got some nice Chick-fil-A right there. So gotta, gotta love that. And so tomorrow, like I said, dropping everything off. And it's pretty cool that this is going down. Hoping that I can fit all the parts in here. And I'll definitely show you guys whenever I do that tomorrow. I'm most likely going to upgrade cameras whenever the new truck comes in. And then we're also going to get working on the mod that I have for this truck. I just want to be able to open the hood. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Peace out.